Hello friends, here in this video, we will see construction, working and velocity ratio formula for Weston's differential pulley block. It is a kind of a simple machine. So here I have the diagram of Weston's differential pulley block. Now this consists of, here we are having smaller pulley and bigger pulley. The connection is in such a way that here we have a chain whose one end is connected to the bigger pulley and the other end is connected to the smaller pulley. Similarly, we have another chain which is connected to bigger and smaller pulley respectively. But at each of the chain, we can see here, at one of the chain, we are applying P which is nothing but effort. Or on the other end, again we have one more chain to which we have connected through the lower block the load. So as we see here to two different chains we have connected load and effort separately. This effort we can apply it with the help of hand that is we would be pulling this chain in the downward direction. When we pull this chain down then what happens here this end would be rotating and this would be pulling this weight up that is just by pulling this rope down or the chain down by applying an effort what happens is this end would be rotating and it would be delivering this chain onto the bigger pulley and the weight would be lifted so by applying small effort we are able to lift a heavy load this effort is the input which we are applying and this load is the output which we are getting. So the velocity ratio formula for Weston's differential pulley block, it is given by 2D upon D minus D, where capital D is the diameter of bigger pulley and small d is the diameter of smaller pulley. So in this way, we have completed Weston's differential pulley block.